Why were you the first Secretary of Defense in 20 years to visit the Silicon Valley? Why did it take so long, Secretary Carter? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry that and I don't want to condemn any right. of my predecessors because they were all great people and I had a good relationship with, with all of them. But I, this relationship that I talked about that where I mm -hmm. got started brought tech and defense very close. There was a very close relationship in those days. Over time, that got more distant. I don't think that's safe. Mm -hmm. It's certainly not safe for the country. And how did you partner with them? Um, well, you got to be willing to meet them halfway. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be realistic. There's some strains in there. A lot of these people, I've talked to an audience like this, trying to interest them in working in defense. They thought Edward Snowden was a hero. Mm -hmm. And I just have to say, look, we're going to have to agree to disagree about that mm -hmm. um, because he's no hero to me. But let's try to pick ourselves up from that, nevertheless, and move forward. And I talked to them about things they cared about, which is technology. Mm -hmm. Most of them want to do something of consequence in their lives. Um, many of them, uh, uh, many of them, and this is growing, see right and wrong in technology and not just money mm -hmm. and ads and so forth. And, and they want to do right and they mm -hmm. don't want to do uh, wrong, but they're not familiar with the government and they may have a sort of impression the government is not us, the government is this blob out there, this thing, and I try to say the government is just us. It's how we do the things that have to be done collectively. And if you don't think it's working fun, right, then how's it going to work right without people like you?